going on beautiful people Jorge Vassal signing in one more time hope you're having a fantastic day and everything is going your way man today is August 23rd it's a beautiful beautiful day where I am and I hope that it is where you are by the time you see this it'll be August 24th and I hope that that is a very wonderful and productive Saturday for you guys just want to do a quick run through and talk about let's say overview review of Bruno X and just give my thoughts and opinions on it and keep that in mind folks this is just my thoughts and opinions you guys got to do whatever it is you want to do okay so Bruno X is a crypto exchange right where you can exchange one crypto to another but really it's more so of a passive income platform because although they do crypto exchanges that's really not the main function that anyone's using this for, if we're being honest, right? So as we look through this, um, they say they've been around since, since October 2022. Um, unfortunately, I've been able to find no evidence of that. Now, maybe the website's been registered for that long, but I have not seen anybody speaking about Bruno X, X, X um, going back to longer than a year ago. And uh, we could take a look at that here in a moment as well, okay? But again, they're supposed to be doing the crypto exchange. You could come here and exchange your Bitcoin to Ethereum, Ethereum to USDT, etc. You could send crypto from one person to another, that sort of thing. Um, and then they have their investments, which is really the main function of this platform, a passive income opportunity where people are making a deposit. And then, you know, you earn a monthly dividend on that deposit you earn a monthly amount depending on the plan you go in on essentially that's going to determine how much you earn your funds are returned to you at the end of the term and you you know you get your profit monthly or whatever i think you probably can't even withdraw weekly i don't know i'm not i don't have any funds invested in this so you guys will have to tell me how that part of it works okay but i'm gonna look through these plans and we could kind of go over it in a moment but let me just show you why I say that I don't think that people are really using this for the exchange purpose, because here on their website, they say they've been here since 2022 and they've done, you know, 43,260 swaps of swapping, the, you know, doing an exchange. That sounds like a lot, but it's really not if we're going back to 2022. And this is where math is our friend. So let's pull up the calculator. And I've seen them say multiple times that this thing's been around for 96 months. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at 43, 260. That's how many swaps they've done in total, allegedly, you know, based on what the website says. Divided by 96, right? If they've been around for 96 months, what that means is they're averaging 450 exchanges a month. Okay, which really is not that much. Now, let's look at that a little further. There's 30 days in a month divided by 30. So essentially 15 swaps a day is what they're averaging for what is supposed to be their main function. As far as I know. So again, 43,260 reduces down to 450 swaps a month, which reduces down to approximately 15 a day. Really not that many. So again, that's why I say this is more of a passive income platform. And that's really the main function of this opportunity, website, company, whatever you want to call it. All right. Now let's look at the plans. All right. And I'm not here to bash Bruno X. This is one that I've been looking at for quite a while. I actually thought about throwing some funds in. I registered account, but I just never really pulled the trigger on it. Um, because the returns were a little lower than what I would want as far as based on the amount of risk that I would have to take. OK, so when I looked at it, the monthly plans, they have the three month plan, which is great because you're only risking your funds for a period of three months. And then at the end of the term, you get your funds back. Now, what I did not like about this is it's only half a percent a monthly profit, which does stand the reason that that could be real. They really could be doing whatever they're claiming they're doing because a half a percent a month is not that much to pay out. Super sustainable. You can probably go a long time paying people a half percent. So what that means is essentially over the course of three months, you're going to get a return of one point five percent on your money. But you would have to risk at least a thousand to do it. 
to get only 1.5% for me personally was not enough for me to go ahead and take the risk of tying up my funds for, for three months, right? And you could do that up to $5,000. But again, that is just not really enough profit for me personally to tie up $5,000 for three months. So if you look at it, $1,000 times 1.5%, that means over the course of the 90 days, you would earn a profit of $15. Your funds would be tied up for 90 days. And again, they could say this is real all they want, but this is still a very risky endeavor. Anything can happen at any time in crypto. And if anybody's telling you anything other than that, they're not being honest with you. OK, and it doesn't matter that this has been around for a year, allegedly more than that. But I'm going to say a year because that's the first time I started hearing about it. And I can't find anything online older, older than a year. So even if it's been around for a year. I mean, Novatech ran for what? Three years plus. And everything seemed to be real. They had licensures and everything. And then they, they, they rug pulled and it was a, a Ponzi, right? GS partners ran for, again, three years. It was going great. Everything seemed right until they, they ran off with all the money. So sometimes in crypto and sometimes in these opportunities and business in general, everything's good until it's not. OK, it's not always a bunch of red flags. Sometimes things are great. And then tomorrow it's all over. So for me, I put this in the high risk category and I don't care what anybody else says. That's their opinion. My opinion is it's high risk. So for me to tie up my funds and even if I did 5,000, right? Times 1.5%. Now you're telling me that I'm going to risk $5,000 for 90 days so that I can make $75 of profit. Per personally for me, that's just not enough for me to take this kind of risk. But again, to each his own. Hold on a second. So here we go. We got the next plan up six months. It's a, it gets a little better. It's still only 1%, right? So again, you're going to get 1% monthly profit. You have to put a minimum of $2,000 in. This plan goes up to 10,000 and you get your funds returned to you at the end of the term. So you're only going to get 6% profit and your funds are tied up for six months. Again, math is our friend, right? So we come over here, $2,000 times 6%. So that means I'm gonna earn $120 on my $2,000 that have been tied up for six months. And again, in a risky situation, cause it's crypto, anything can happen. This plan goes up to $10,000, right? So 10,000 times 6%. Now you're looking at a profit of $600 on $10,000 over six months. Now, these are great returns if you're comparing it to a regular bank account, right? Where you might get one, 2% a year. So I, I, I will say that, right? But for me to risk $10,000 for six months to get 6%, for me personally, just not enough. So that's why I didn't do that one. Now you come up here where you start to get a little better, 2% monthly profit, but the minimum deposit is $3,000 and you have to be locked in for one whole year. So again, now this is starting to get super risky because the longer you go, the greater the risk of something going wrong, right? So $3,000, 2%, that's 24% a year. Not bad, $720 worth of profit on your $3,000, but again, it's been tied up for a whole year. Anything can happen in that year. The company could go out of business, they could scam out. They could get shut down by the government. Even if they are legitimate, anything can happen. So I didn't want to take a risk of a year. Now I've done things for a year, but I'm getting like 10% profits there every month. So for me, it's, a, it's worth the risk because I break even much faster. And again, risk reward, right? So 3,000 up to 20K. Most people are not going to do that, right? But I'll show you 20,000 times... 24%. Now you're making $4,800 of profit, which is fantastic, right? That's a great profit. But to risk $20,000 for a whole year doesn't feel real warm and safe to me personally. For those out there that have that kind of risk tolerance, hats off to you. But I don't want to tie up $20,000 for a year, okay? Into a platform that is risky. And re regardless of whatever anybody says, this is risky, okay? Now, the, the four-month plan is actually pretty cool. 
because it's only four months, 120 days, you get your funds back at the end of the term, and now at least it's 3% monthly profit, which is still pretty low, right? Which I mean, again, it's sustainable. They can be actually doing what they claim they do, maybe. But that's a big maybe because it's not proven and it's no way for us to know that, okay? So if we look at the calculator again, $5,000, what was that? Uh, 3% monthly, right? So you're gonna get 12%. Return, which is $600. Now, again, for me, it's just still not worth it. I don't want to risk $500 to make $600 and profit. I just can't see it. That It's just not worth it to me to risk $5,000 so I can make $600 in you know four months. I'd rather just hold my $5,000 and not make nothing on it and, and keep it safe. But that's me, right? Everybody has to do what they're comfortable with, right? This plan goes up to 30,000, which again, most people are not gonna do, so I'm not even gonna show that, okay? But again, 5,000 for four months, 3% a month. It would, if they had a $1,000 plan at this level or 2,500, maybe I would've did that. I don't know, but I'm certainly not gonna put out 5K so that I could make $600. It's just not worth it for me. Especially when there's other platforms out there paying considerably more that are just as risky as well as just as safe, right? Here we go. Now you got the 4% monthly plan, goes for six months. Minimum deposit is 10,000 for six months. You're gonna get a total of 24%. This is a fantastic return. 24% in six months is a great return. Okay, I'd be crazy if I said it wasn't, but to risk 10,000 for it, that's where it gets crazy. Right, so 10,000 over the times 24% is obviously $2,400 of profit. But again, you had to risk $10,000 to get that $2,400 of profit. So that's where it's like, I looked at this plan because like it's a decent amount of profit, but man, do I want to put out 10K? I just couldn't pull the trigger on it. I thought about it, I registered, and when ultimately I just couldn't do it. Now you start to get to the, the higher percentages of profit, right? So to get 8% profit, you got to put out $50,000. And for me, that was a hell to the no, a no thank you, get away, I'm going to do something different, right? 50K over six months to get a 48% return is fantastic. That's an incredible return, right? 50,000 times 48%, you're going to get um, 24,000 back, almost half right in only six months but you got to tie your you got to risk fifty thousand dollars and i just really couldn't bring myself to do that now they do give you a two percent bonus on your first deposit and there's also a referral plan where if you use a referrals link i believe you get a 2.5 percent bonus on your deposit let's take a look at that okay so yep you're gonna get a 2.5% bonus on your deposit if you use a referrals link. And then the referrer is gonna get a 5% bonus on whatever it is you deposit. So simple enough, straightforward. Again, these numbers are pretty sustainable. So I, I leave the door open that possibly they could be doing what they claim they do. But there's a couple inconsistencies here that kind of were a little, you know, unsettling for me. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. All right, I already showed you how few exchanges were being done, right? So this is supposed to be what they're doing since 2022, but they're only getting 15 people a day to actually use that service. That's a little unsettling for me, right? Um, they claim they've been around since 2022, but when I come to their own YouTube channel, let's see. Let's, let's find it. Here we go. It's only, the oldest video on there is only one year old, right? So I can't find anything from Bruno X, including their own YouTube channel, that's older than a year. So I don't know where everybody's coming from with this 96 months and all this kind of stuff because there's no evidence of that. And I'll show you more of what I mean by that in a moment. All right. Now, one other thing I want to sh show you is this. When you're on their investment page, it says no KYC required to invest, right? 
No KYC required to invest. But let me show you what it says when you log into the back office. When you go in here and you're under the settings, you see that little link there. It says KYC verification. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought there was no KYC. Then I click on it and it says identity verification. To comply with the regulations, you will have to go through identity verification. Complete the verification steps below. So you got to verify your basic identity, identity, identity documents, right? Your ID and then proof of address. So I don't know if they mean that you don't have to KYC to make a deposit, but when it comes to make a withdrawal, then you have to do a KYC first. Or if this is just not true and you don't have to KYC at all. But for me, it was enough cause for concern that I just didn't move forward. And especially, like I said, the amount of capital that I have to risk for the low returns that they're offering, it wasn't worth it for me personally, so I decided not to do it. Um, now, let me go to the YouTube channel and show you something there. And oh, one other thing I want to show you, they do have these ambassador plans, right? This for me was kind of very strange. They have these brand ambassador plans where you can get 10% monthly for as low as $1,000. If you're willing to put in $50,000, you'll get 4.5% monthly. And if you put in 5,000, you get a 14% monthly plan, right? The $1,000 plan is only four months long. So I would have definitely did something like that, right? But this is where it's weird. With the brand ambassador plan, you have to send your funds to the brand ambassador and he deposits the money into his account where your funds grow. And then he sends you your profit back and your funds back at the end of the term. This for me was very strange. And I don't think any reputable company would do anything like that because it's unethical. There should be no commingling of funds, right? Especially if you're saying that you're trying to keep up with regulations so people have to KYC. So you care enough about regulation and KYC, but you are okay with the commingling of funds with your brand ambassador? What if the brand ambassador ran off with the money? Then what? You couldn't even go after Bruno X if you, we don't even know who these people are anyway. Now, I'll say this. I'm not saying that the brand ambassador is going to run off with your money. I'm saying that's a potential. It's a possibility. You know what else is a possibility? That he gets hit by a bus, that he has a heart attack, that he has a stroke. What if you deposit your money into the brand ambassador's account and then he dies? How do you get your money back out? What if you deposit your money into the brand ambassador's account and his account gets hacked? What if he had his money in like an exchange, like like FTX and FTX ran off? He still wouldn't have your funds. So it is just too many unknowns and uncertainties with me being comfortable with commingling of funds. That is a no, no. I want to deposit my money into my account where I have access to withdraw it at the end of the term, where I can take a look at it instead of having to trust a brand ambassador to keep up with an Excel spreadsheet of who deposited what, where, and hopefully he gives me my funds back at the end of the term. What I'll say is this again, from all I, from all I can see, the brand ambassador has been doing their thing for about a year without any complaints. He's sending their people their profit. So again, I'm not here to say he's going to steal your funds, but I don't know if he's going to get hit by a bus. I don't know if he's going to have a stroke or heart attack. Anything can happen. So I just don't trust like that personally. For those that do, hats off to you. But what I do know is that this makes me question the reputability of Bruno Exchange because no reputable financial services company would allow for or even encourage co-mingling of funds. So not only are they okay with it, but they encourage it. And that's where I have a big question about the legitimacy of Bruno X. So again, as I go on YouTube and I look around, they say it's running for two years strong. There's a lot of people saying it's running for two years, two years, two years two years, two years, but you can go back as far as you want. You will not find anybody talking about, about, about Bruno X two years ago. You just won't find it. It's not any evidence of it. Even if I go to the brand ambassadors page, let me go to that. Hold on. Hold on. This is the brand ambassadors page here. And as I look at his videos, you know, there's stuff about Bruno X, but the oldest video posted about Bruno X, let's look at it. Let me hit oldest. So two years ago, he was talking about 
Bitcoin mining and real estate investments and multifamily homes. But one year ago is when we started to see any talk or mention of Bruno X. And that's on the main brand ambassador, the one who you would be sending your funds to that he's going to deposit into his account and then pay you back as you get your profit and give you your funds back at the end of the term. So again, even the main dude has only been in this for a year, right? And if you go on here and you do a search on Bruno X, you'll see a bunch of videos come up, right? From a bunch of different people, not just the brand ambassador, but none of them are over a year old, right? So where are these people that were involved in this 92 weeks ago, 96 weeks ago? Where are they? I would like to see proof of that personally. OK, so that's basically it. That's my take on Bruno X. It does seem like a cool platform. It's paying. There's been no problems with payment thus far. But the other thing is they constantly are taking in new funds. Right. So there's always people putting new money into the brand ambassador plan. When it first started, they were paying 18 percent a month. Now it's dropped down to 10, 14 percent a month, whatever it is. Right. So it is constantly a new flow of funds into this thing, which means that it could be a Ponzi. I don't know that it is. I'm not saying it is. What I'm saying, the potential is there. OK, we don't know who's behind the platform and they're doing very shady things as far as allowing for the commingling of funds. Again, imagine if you went and opened a bank account at Wachovia or you had TD Ameritrade, your trading account. And they're like, you know what, TD Ameritrade, we're going to give you one percent a month if you have your own account. But if you put your funds into the account of one of our highest executives, you're going to put it in his account and he's going to pay you 10 percent a month. Mm, that just sounds a little crazy to me. And then remember, the brand ambassador, he's going to be running around saying that this is the most legitimate thing ever. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, you could trust it. But remember, he's incentivized to say that. So his opinion is very biased. Right. I can't listen to his opinion because not only is he getting the five percent bonus when I make a deposit, he's also keeping, I think, one percent of whatever profits that everybody that deposits into his brand ambassador plan is going to make. Right. And I did see months ago where there was also a new brand ambassador, but I think that dude was dealing more so overseas. So like I said, you can scroll back as far as you want in YouTube and you're not going to find anybody talking about Bruno X since 2022. You're just not going to find it. Their own YouTube channel doesn't even go back that far. Right. So that was my thoughts on it. That's why I didn't rock with it. Initially, I didn't really care about the risk because I do risky stuff all the time. But if I'm going to take the risk, the risk reward has to be there. And for me to get, you know, 1% a month or 2% a month, I'm not risking $3,000 to get 2% 2 a month. I'm not risking $5,000 to get, you know, 3% a month. I'm not risking $10,000 for a year to get 2% a month. Personally, that's just not enough profit for me to take that kind of risk. But again, for those that do, that's the beauty of life. Everybody gets to do what they want to do. For those that OK, handing your funds over to a random guy online and saying, you know what? He's going to give me my money back at the end of six months and I trust that to happen. Hats off to you. Like I said, he hasn't ran off with the money. I'm not saying he would or he's going to, but we certainly don't know if he's going to live for a year. We don't know if he's going to live another four months. We don't know if he's not going to get hacked or arrested. Anything can happen. So for me, the risk reward just wasn't there. And that's why I chose not to deposit any funds into Bruno X. If they had a thousand dollar plan where you were getting 10 percent a month. Hey, I, I jump in all day. Right. If you had to put in twenty five hundred or three thousand and you were getting 10, 15 percent a month, I would jump in right off the rip. Now, I do know the higher the percentage of return you're getting, the riskier it is as far as it not being real, because it's easier to sustain small profit. So I leave room that Bruno X could be doing exactly what they claim they do. I leave the door open for that. What I'm saying is the risk reward wasn't there for me. But if it's there for you, go ahead and do it. 
right? I have nothing bad to say about Bruno X. I'm just giving you my opinions on it. I do think that co-mingling of funds is a no-no, and I don't think any reputable financial services company would allow for that. So not only are these guys allowing for it, they're encouraging it. So to me, that's a that's weird. That's a red flag to me personally, right? Like I said, he seems like an okay dude. I have nothing bad to say about him. He's He's been delivering. He's been paying people their money like clockwork week after week after week after week for at least a year. So I had to take my hat off to him. But again, he could go outside tomorrow and get struck by lightning. And what's going to happen with everybody's funds if that happens? These are the things you have to ask yourself. So that's my take on Bruno X. I'm going to wrap it up and leave it there. You guys let me know in the comments what you think about Bruno X. What's your experience with Bruno X? Bruno X? Do you actually have to KYC or not? Because there's contradictory information. On the homepage, it says you don't have to, but then when you go on your account, it tells you you do have to, okay? So you guys let me know. Do you got a KYC? And how do you feel about co-mingling of funds? Are you, you think that's a good idea to give your funds for somebody else to deposit into their account on your behalf? Let me know in the comments. Jorge Vassal signing out, sending you guys nothing but love, happiness, joy, success, prosperity, wealth, and abundance. As always, beautiful people, please do well and be well.